Hello everybody, I'm Gleamer2024. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your own custom keyboards and put them onto your iPhone or iPod Touch using iAccess. And since that is a paid application from Cydia, I'm going to show you how to get it cracked for free. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to have to go to this site that I'm going to um, provide in the description and it'll bring you to a download link. And you could download the cracked version of iAccess 4. So once you download it, you have to go into WinSCP. After you download OpenSSH and stuff like that, you probably already know how to SSH your iPod or iPhone. So um, once you download and stuff like that, you have the WinSCP open on your Windows computer. You're going to locate where you saved your iAccess folder, um, your iAccess file on the left, your .deb file, and you're just going to drag it, drag it into your private var root file. So my iPod or iPhone is on the right and my files are on the left. So I'm going to drag the iAccess crack version over to my iPod private var root. I'm just going to copy. It just takes a second to copy over. Okay and we're done. So um, once that is copied over you just either minimize it or X out of it or whatever. But once that is done you're going to go into your iPod or iPhone. You're going to go to uh, Cydia. So you're going to go to Cydia. And you're going to go to. So you're going to have to download the um, program iFile from Sinful iPhone Repo. Uh, the cracked iFile, because iFile is another paid application. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to enter the source. Let me show you how to do that. Go to Manage. Go to Sources. Insidia. Click Edit. Click Add. And you're going to type in Sinful iPhone Repo dot com um, you're going to add uh, sinfuliphonerepo.com and then you're going to click add source uh, so after you added the source and you went and you downloaded the iFile cracked from um, sinful iPhone repo you know you just click on it and click install on the top right so once you have done that you can go to your home screen so once you're at home screen you're going to locate iFile wherever it might be saved Okay, so there it is. iFile icons. You're going to click on it. What this does is lets you browse all of your files on your iPod or iPhone. All of the root files. So you're going to let it load. So you're going to go to um, private var. And then you're going to go to root. So you're going to scroll down and go to root. So you're going to go to private var root, you're going to go to that file. So, and then you'll see your iAccess file right here. So you're just going to click on it, and it'll bring up, bring up some options. It'll give you zip viewer, unarchive, or uh, installer. You're just going to click installer, and it'll unload it and everything. And once you have installed it, it will be on your phone. I think it might require either a respring or a reboot. But if you don't sync it on your springboard, then it obviously requires something. So if it comes up in Japanese, you're just going to take off everything and put it on off. And you're just going to leave the little first thing to on, which would be the enabled. So once you have it enabled and you have everything else off, as you can see, everything else is off. If you can't see that, it's being a little glitchy. So once everything else is off and just this first one is, is on, then go click your keyboard theme. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the home menu. And we're going to go to Cydia. And we're going to go and add a source. Source. Edit. Add. So this is what you're going to want to add is your source. GumballTech.com slash Cydia. You can see I already have that source. So you're just going to add it. And then you're just going to click on it in your sources. And they'll give you whatever stuff they've uploaded. And you're just going to scroll down to their numbers and you'll see 30 you'll see 30 iAccess keyboards so once you see the 
high access keyboards. Um, you're just going to click on it. And you're going to click install. And But mine says modify, but you're going to click install and then confirm. And once you have installed it, and you most likely have to respring or reboot or something like that. Um, once you've done that, you're going to go back to your iAccess. And the first time you launch it, you may get some uh, some little Chinese message or something like that. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It depends. If you have the English version, if you downloaded the English version, which you most likely did, um, then you should be okay. So you will see all the 30 themes that you just installed from that Gumball Tech source. Give you if it gives you a message, if it gives you a message of any kind, like saying that you know you need to uh, or like reboot or anything. Most of the time, once you install it, you have to reboot it, like reboot your um your whole iPhone or iPod Touch and stuff like that. You have to reboot it, and then once once your iPhone or iPod Touch is back up, you will be able to go into the application and edit your settings. So once in your settings for iAccess, you're going to turn everything off, turn all of the settings off except for the first uh, button. There you go. Keyboard theme. You're going to choose whichever one you want to try. Right now, I think I'm using what am I using right now? I'm using the BUF, BUUF uh, 2. Let's switch to Blue Swirl just to, for demonstration. If you want to change the keyboard, please exit, please exit and restart your iPhone or iPod to make it effective. So you're going to click OK. You can make sure everything's off once again, except for that first little toggle. You're going to make sure the first thing is on. And then you can click exit at the very top right. And then once you have done that, you're going to reboot your device. So if you have SP settings, you can just you know open that. If you don't, then you could just hold the power button and the uh, you just hold the power button and shut it down and then just bring it back up. But I'm going to open up power and click reboot. So I'm going to let that reboot and when that is done I will bring it back up. Okay so it is just rebooted so I'm just going to turn it on, slide it and then I can just slide over to my finder or my spotlight and it should bring up the keyboard. It's just being a little slow. Oops. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. And it's there's the blue swirl. <clears throat> so you could see it worked fine. And to type on it and everything. So it works great. Um definitely recommend doing this. If, even though you can only use some pre installed themes and you know you can download from other things. I have not found out how to, you know, make your own custom one. But if I do find out how to do that, which I hope to, then I will make a video on how to do that. So if you have any suggestions or um, any questions or anything about any issues, leave me a comment um, and I will try to help you out. But um, let me know if you enjoyed this, thumbs up or thumbs down. And um, if you uh, like iAccess and if you think it's worth it, um, comment and uh, subscribe uh, so you can see my future iPhone videos come out. This is my first iPhone video. I will have a comparison coming out, um, <coughs> hopefully a review coming out in a little while, some app reviews, some CDR reviews and stuff like that. Um, so there's plenty of stuff coming out, so definitely subscribe so you can see when that does happen. Follow me on Twitter so you can also know when stuff is coming in in advance. Um, so until next time, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to 2024. Peace out.